was considering doing that, and then I thought I shouldn't, and then I thought, fuck it, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Hi. Um, okay, so last year I was honoured to be here as the recipient of the Stunt Icon Award. This year I'm almost more honoured to be here to present the Artemis Action Icon Award to Gina Carano. <laughs> When I was thinking about what I wanted to say tonight, I was looking on the Artemis website and one of the first sentences in their mission statement is, we celebrate powerful women taking action to the silver screen. And I thought, well, that's good, that's my speech. Done. <laughs> Gina is the personification of this statement. She is undoubtedly powerful and she is undoubtedly bringing it to the silver screen. So I could sit here and list all of her titles and her credits, but well, that would just take a really, really long time. And actually, the more I thought about it, what was more interesting and sort of exciting to me is how she handles her achievements and her accomplishments, who she is in life and how she carries herself. We are still sort of unfortunately in a society that sometimes thinks that a woman can only be tough or ladylike. Um, and having met Gina for the first time tonight, I can tell you wholeheartedly that she is living proof that it is simply not true. Um, Gina is strong and feminine. I tried doing this speech five times with my boyfriend today and I cried every time and I hadn't even met her yet. <laughs> this is clearly something that means a lot to me. Um, Gina is strong and feminine. She is gifted and humble, fierce and endearing, feared and cherished. She is a badass and a sweetheart. She is the perfect embodiment of this award and the person and professional I aspire to be. Don't get it twisted. For all intents and purposes, Gina is my direct competition. <laughs> <clears throat> there are many roles, uh, let's say most of them, that I would have, if I thought for a second I had a chance of winning, fought her for. But I would never have won that fight, so. But here's the beauty of this mission that we powerful women, should we choose to accept it, find ourselves on. We are all on the same team. It's the same walls that need busting down, it's the same glass ceilings that need shattering, and it's the same minds and perceptions that need changing. And whether you are chipping or busting walls, cracking or shattering glass ceilings, changing minds or just asking the hard questions, it's the same mission and we're all on the same team. Here it comes, I'm crying. <laughs> So Gina, thank you for being you, for everything you do and be. It's an honour to be on your team. <laughs> and with that, bad asses and the men that love them, put your hands together for this year's Artemis Action Icon Award winner, Gina Carano. Okay. Well, I don't know why everybody's so well spoken. <laughs> because I'm about to ruin that right now. <laughs> um, first of all, when I heard Zoe was going to, I just found out last week that you were going to um, present me this award, and I, I was like, okay, we need a stylist. <laughs> we probably need like a makeup and hair. I, I've, I've idolized you for a very long time, and I'm always liking your stuff on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> But um, just what you've accomplished is, uh, it's just a really big honor for you to come here tonight and give me this award. I can't tell you what that means. Um, Westworld stored, stole my speech, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing though, I love that. Um, I really wanted to come here tonight. I was gonna come last year, um, but to be honest, I get a little bit social anxiety. Um, but I wanted to come here because I wanted to, tell the females out there and that are doing stunts and they're, they're being action actresses or whatever you call us. Um, I feel like we were born a certain way and when I was younger, I kind of felt alone with all of that. I, you know, I felt like I was throwing the football farther than <laughs> most good boys. I was wrestling my cousins and beating the shit out of them and that, would, that wasn't very, Cool. And then later on in life, still, um, <laughs> which was not cool either for them. Um, I started fighting not because I, I saw anybody 
that I wanted to be like, I started fighting because I knew how to do it. I knew how to use my body and I knew how to, I knew how to fight. And that was, uh, that's why I did it. And I feel like a lot of women out here, it's not something that you can fake, you know, you, which is this, the precious thing about women in action. So many people try to fake it. <laughs> and a lot of people can't. And I am, um, I'm really honored to be a part of one of you. And I definitely, I have a fear of heights, so I might not take those big falls, but I, I hope I represent you um, in this action universe as a, you know, as somebody that you can be proud of. Um, so I'm really honored to be here tonight, and I'm really glad that all of you right now showed up for this because you showing up is going to mean more people show up the next year and more people shown, showed up the next year. And that is what we need to kind of ap appreciate what we're all doing here. And um, me and Zoe were talking about it. We we're like, we're always at the beginning. <laughs> Whenever when like <laughs> you make the money <laughs> or it's like cool, we're always at the very beginning. But I'm proud to be at the beginning. I love this kind of environment. I love the people that are here tonight. So I came here tonight uh, to awkwardly accept an award, beautifully from Zoe, but also to thank you and to let you know I'm here for you. I'm not really good at this stuff, but I'm, I'm here doing this uncomfortable thing that I'm not good at <laughs> for you. And I really appreciate that you guys all came, and I appreciate Artemis for having me. Yeah.